back up all your cares and woe Here I go, singing low Bye, bye, Blackbird Where somebody waits for me Sugar sweet, so is he stories they all hear me make my bed light my light I'll arrive late tonight blackbird bye bye <laughs> Thank you.
Checked. Oh, yeah. Hey, hey, everybody. <laughs> uh, they wanted me to talk just a little bit, although, man, they're almost all the way set up already. Yeah, so um, my, uh, my name's Jesse Nielsen, and um, uh, about, uh, man, I think it was like, how long ago was it? Brenda and Leora Russell, I can't remember, 15 years ago or something. Uh, me and my uh, in laws had this idea to start a, a private art school, and we had no money and no experience and no qualifications, <laughs> and, and uh, a lot of belief that it was going to work and happen. And, um, Somehow it did, and I remember an interview with a young, upcoming English teacher named Leora McCluskey. Yeah. She was the first. She was our first hire. And, and, then, and then after that, Brendan and Leora and, uh, yeah, and, uh, and, and several of Sean Scribner. He worked at the school that we did. And, and, uh, and that was a private school, and then it, it became, that's, that was the beginnings of what is happening now, but I had I, I'd come back to visit a little bit since the kind of the changeover from private to a, a public ma uh, to magnet school, and uh, I'm just uh, I, this has been like the most special. I've been I've been coming every day for a couple weeks, working with the kids, teaching them uh, well, t taught them this song, and um, and uh, I just have to say that uh, I feel like all of the good stuff that we had built is still here, and that they really improved upon that and made this one of the really most special, amazing schools I have ever seen. Uh, far beyond anything I could have ever asked, thought, or imagined. Yeah, it's really amazing. And, uh, and uh, you guys must be great parents because your kids are awesome. And uh, all that being said, now I want to uh, introduce the incredible Sean B. Let's give him a big hand. How's everybody doing tonight? Oh, you can do better than that. How's everybody doing tonight? This has been the best experience ever. I need you to make sure y'all rooting these kids on. They're doing an amazing job. Simple song, it says like this. It says, the Lord is my light and salvation. Whom shall I fear? Whom shall I be afraid? The Lord is my light and salvation. Whom shall I fear? Whom shall I be afraid? I will wait on you. And I will wait on you. I will trust in you. And I will trust in you. The Lord, the Lord is my light and salvation. Shall I fear? Shall I be afraid? The Lord, the Lord is my light and salvation. Whom shall I fear? Whom shall I be I will wait, I will wait on you. I will wait. And I'll trust in you, trust in you. till I die. I will trust in you. Next part says like this, I will remain, I will remain confident in this. I will see the goodness of the Lord. I will remain, I will remain confident in I will see the goodness of the Lord. 
Come on, put your hands together with us and say, the Lord. The Lord is my light and salvation. Who shall I be? Who shall I be afraid? The Lord, the Lord is my light and salvation. Who shall I fear? Who shall I be I will wait, I will wait on you. Lord, I'll wait on you. I will wait on you. I'll trust in you, God. of the Lord. We sing, I will, I will remain confident in this. I will see the goodness of the Lord. No music. I will remain. I will see the goodness of the Lord. I will wait on you. Come on, give him a big hand. All right, check. Okay, great. Yeah, oh, one, one more hand for that amazing choir. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, <laughs> I know. Uh, and, uh, and then for Sean B., of course, a world-class artist. Yeah, give him a hand. Uh, yeah, this is, this is no small feat. Uh, Sean uh, supported himself entirely as a performing musician in Los Angeles for the last 10 years and uh, really doesn't perform in the Boise community very often, but he was so taken by 
this idea to do this with these kids that he agreed to do that. It's been a real treat. He's been amazing working with the kids, and I'd be surprised if all your kids didn't go home and tell you that already this week because uh, he's just an, he's an incredible person. And also, he talks to everybody about how amazing these choirs are too. Like he's, he, he was telling all his friends about this. So yeah, it's a pretty cool thing. So um, uh, our next uh, n- uh, number is, uh, will feature the uh, theater and uh, classical departments. And let's just give them a big hand. Upheavals in other lives I read about with bagel and coffee before I pack my briefcase and forget my way to work. When I ask my students who Joseph Stalin was or when World War I ended, I get row upon row of blanks. And these are people I complain to friends in bar rooms who know every world series like a catechism who know to the scent how much an engineer or lawyer makes. Am I much different? Beatles recorded, but could not give any clear apology for my life. History comes with its own radio. Haunted tunes I recall as year of war, year of riots, year of school or marriage. Listen for history's jazz, but the music of what happens is a poor thing compared to the great as if, which is music jazzed beyond reproduction. One night, I heard a blues guitar so fine it was like, like a dentist's drill full of love, a conversation between one scripture and the next. That man on stage in his blue suit, that corny fat father of the beer commercials, played, played his jive so hard it came true, right there in the smoky spotlight where I'll never be. I loved even his jazz between numbers. Jokes old enough to shine. I take that night's improvisation as fact. Scat sung well replenishes thin voices. I loved how a phrase left hanging by the trumpet would be gathered in his hands and strung like a spider web in the light. It has been a wonderful pleasure for me to be here the past three days working at IFA. It's an incredible school. You are so fortunate to have such a wonderful school in your community. And working with uh, the youngest people, the sixth graders, has reminded me of my own childhood. I started to dance professionally when I was nine years old in fourth grade. I lived in a little town called Lehigh, south of Salt Lake City, Utah, and I was a regular on a Channel 4 TV show, Juvenile Jamboree, at age nine. And I thought I had finished performing last July, but uh, if you know Rachel Swenson, the director of the dance department, She's a very persuasive person, 
And she convinced me to come out of my performance retirement and, and perform one more evening. So uh, I will be 84 in just a few weeks. <laughs> Thank you. So fingers crossed that I get through the rest of my pieces. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to share with you now uh, some of the rhythms created by a man named Leon Collins. You may not know this, but rhythm tap dance, uh, tap dance is music, tap dance is jazz music, uh, is primarily a black art form created and spread around the world primarily by black, black artists who shared it generously with people like me. And Leon Collins was one of the uh, iconic uh, figures in rhythm tap. He performed with many jazz bands as a tap soloist. And then near the end of his life, he established the Leon Collins School of Dance in Boston. And um, he was a rhythmic genius. And he created many, many long rhythmic patterns or routines, and he taught them to the next generation of tap dancers, including a woman uh, you may have heard of, if you're a tap dancer, you've heard of Diane Walker, Lady Di. Uh, and she shared many of these rhythms with me. So first the band will play a couple of choruses of Honeysuckle Rose, and then I'll join them and share with you some rhythms by Leon Collins. Thank you. Honeybee fills with jealousy when they see you out with me. I don't blame them, goodness knows. Honeysuckle rose. When we're passing by, flowers strip inside, and I know the reason why. I don't blame them, goodness knows. Honeysuckle rose. You're my sugar You just have to touch my cup You're my sugar It's sweet when you stir it up When I'm taking sips from your tasty lips Seems the honey fairly drips I don't blame them, goodness knows Honeysuckle rose
money, belly dreams. I don't blame them, goodness knows. Honeysuckle rose. You're my sugar. You just stop to touch my cup. You're my Good evening, everyone. How are we tonight? Excellent. I am Dr. Andrew Peck. It's my privilege to be teaching high school vocal uh, majors here at Idaho uh, Fine Arts Academy. I'm having a wonderful time. This next piece that I would like to talk to you about is called Mother to Son. It was written by the poet Langston Hughes, who was sort of the uh, the poet of the Harlem Renaissance, when it was uh, sort of popular to, to be like him. Uh, Langston Hughes, when he wrote this poem, he embodied the stoicism of the Deep South, the, the I'm just going to grit my way through the, through the hard times of life attitude, uh, and it's very prevalent in this song. The poem uh, that we pulled from, called Mother to Son, was uh, supposedly, and he never confirmed this, but written in the perspective of his mother talking to him. And it's about persistence, and it's about resilience, and it's about the struggle that life can bring to us sometimes, and it's, it's about that lesson that each of us needs to learn, particularly uh, when we're in our youth, that sometimes things are gonna be hard and you have a couple choices ahead of you. You can quit, and you can give up, you can find something else to do, or you can stick through it, and you can keep trying even though things are difficult and challenging. And that's what this song embodies, and that's what uh, our students want to present for you today. I originally wrote this song as part of a uh, five-song set uh, of children's songs, written, uh, supposed to be sung by solo singers, um, and we changed it to add uh, some instruments. So let's uh, give a round of applause for our classical majors joining us. And to help give you a sense of how the poem is in its raw spoken form compared to how the musical adaptation is, uh, Miss Lindsay is going to be reading our poem for us today. Thank you. Well, son, I'll, I'll tell you. Life for me ain't been no crystal stare. It's had tacks in it, splinters, and boards torn up, and places with no carpet on the floor bare. But all the time, I've been a climbing on, and reaching landings, and turning corners, and sometimes going in the dark where there ain't been no light. So, Boy, don't you turn back. Don't you sit down on the steps because you find it's kind of hard. Don't you fall now. For I'm still going, honey. I'm still climbing. And life, for me, ain't been no crystal stair. <laughs> Thank you. 
I'm the classical music teacher at Idaho Fine Arts Academy, and we're so thrilled to be here to perform for you this evening. Rhapsody in Blue has become an iconic musical work within the classical realm. It is immediately recognizable, perhaps, by the opening clarinet glissando, where the listener is drawn into a world in which jazz and classical music coalesce. George Gershwin composed this sort of musical kaleidoscope of America in 1924. The work was originally composed for two pianos by Gershwin and then was later orchestrated for solo piano as well as jazz band. Gershwin came up with his thematic and melodic ideas while on a train journey on the way to Boston. Gershwin himself, himself stated, I frequently hear music in the very heart of noise. The listener can hear the hustle and bustle of city life, the metropolitan madness, as well as sweeping romantic themes throughout this work. Our rendition of Rhapsody in Blue that we'll be performing for you tonight does not feature a full symphony orchestra, but perhaps is more intimate in its musical setting with quintet and solo piano shared by two amazing pianists. <laughs> The piece has also been set to dance, choreographed by our own amazing students. Thank you so much, and I hope you enjoy the journey that is Rhapsody in Blue. Thank you. 
That's a hard act to follow. Uh, I'm Sean Scrivener. I teach. Uh, uh, can we actually? Can we just give one more hand to Indy and uh, Carlos? Because that was insane. <laughs> All right. Like I said, I am Sean Scrivener. Uh, I teach contemporary music. Uh, program at Idaho Fine Arts Academy, and I've been doing that for a while, ever since the uh, private school days. I was actually over there frantically writing what I was just about to uh, talk about, and then I realized as I was stepping out here that I wasn't going to talk about anything that I just wrote down. So uh, what I do want to say is, um, since I, Justin and I are on this thing together, um, Justin and I go way back. Uh, he, he did like, you know, start the uh, first version of the school back in its private school days. Um, I knew Justin when we were both kids. Uh, he used to come over to my house and his, uh, his uh, younger brother plays, I keep pointing over, he's right there by the way. I'm not just like pointing at the wall. Um, <laughs> Peekaboo. Um, he's got, uh, his younger brother, his name's Ryan and he plays an excellent jazz uh, trumpet player. And I was just 11 or 12 um, an, a profoundly nerdy and sheltered kid in uh, growing up in southeast Idaho. And uh, somehow uh, I got uh, connected with these guys and um, Ryan, his younger brother, was like obsessed with jazz. And, uh, and I was just this impressionable, uh, recently uh, be beginner trumpet player. And he's like, you gotta check this out, you gotta check this out. And he was giving me all these recordings and I listened to this stuff and I was like, I don't, I don't like this, this is weird. And, um, but I wanted Ryan to think I was cool. So I kept listening to the albums. Um, and then the more I listened to it, the more I was like, this music um, is so deep and it's so profound and it just touched me in a way that I'd never heard other styles, uh, that, that nothing else had, had done before. 
Um, and I started uh, taking trumpet lessons from Ryan. Uh, you know, and, and, and he, he was like a, whatever, a 16 year old teenager teaching me, my little 12 year old self. And um, anyways, it literally, but like that's where it started for me. And, uh, and, and it literally changed the course of my life. And um, it's just such an incredible form of music. Uh, uh, and anyways, and now, and now here we are, full circle, fast forward many, many years, and now I'm teaching at this school that, uh, that Justin started many, many years ago. Um, uh, anyways, to tie that into what we're about to hear, this is, um, we're about to play a song, by, it's called Forget Regrets by uh, this jazz musician, Roy Hargrove. And uh, Roy Gro Hargrove, uh, education was paramount to his whole thing. Um, he, even though he kind of blew up and like got, became this big name, um, he never forgot about the younger generation. It was always so important for him to uh, bring up uh, the next generation. Um, and at the ends of concerts, at the end of jam sessions, he would always get with the younger people and be like, you gotta check out this recording. Here, you gotta listen to this musician. Um, uh, and so, uh, anyways, this, this song, this is uh, melding um, uh, jazz with like uh, hip hop and R&B and, um, and those kinds of sounds. And, uh, and here it is. This is uh, one of my bands uh, gonna play Forget Regret by Roy Hargrove. Thank you. 
enjoying yourselves tonight yeah man it's a good time songs last like this I will bless the Lord at all times and his praises shall continually be in my mouth no matter what I see or how I feel as long as I'm breathing oh yes I'm breathing I'll bless the Lord as long as I'm breathing, oh yes, I'm breathing, I'll bless the Lord. Father, we give you praise in this place tonight. We're going to turn it into church tonight. Is that all right? I will bless, I will bless the Lord at all times. And his praises shall continue to be. No matter what I see, how I feel, as long as I'm breathing, as long as I'm breathing.
awesome band. Give it up for this awesome choir right here. Listen, as the next choir prepares to come out, I'm super excited to be working with this awesome group of children, kids, youth, teens, adults. Uh, my name is Sean Brazell. I go by the name of Sean B. Thank you so much for coming out tonight. Round of applause for yourself. I'm going to tell y'all, like I told the kids earlier, some of you need to work on your self-esteem. I said a round of applause for yourself. One more time. You, there you go. Self-care. Love yourself. I hail from Mountain Home, Idaho. I'm sorry for all the rest of the cities, but Mountain Home is the greatest city in the state of Idaho. I'm just saying. <laughs> they laughing like, yeah, right. 
I promise you it is. And as a young person, I've always been engulfed in music. I, I, I was a, a pastor's kid growing up. I used to sing in an R&B group growing up. Um, my music teacher is the greatest, longing, impactful person that has ever been in my life, really, besides my mother and father, my music teacher. And so I was telling these, these, these uh, teachers that work at this school, you don't realize the impact that you have on these kids at an early age. Some of you might remember the movie Mr. Holland's Opus. Mr. Olmstead in Mount Home, Idaho is Mr. Holland. You can't tell me no different. He was like the greatest music teacher in the world. I will always remember that. I will always remember our choir concerts. I will always remember outings like this. And we're hoping tonight to make some memories that they will always remember everyone who was involved tonight. So once again, to this amazing school and staff, can you show your love? Y'all ready? All right, let's get it. One, two, yeah. Everybody just clap with us. We're going to do an old school gospel song. Some of you may know it. If you know it, I want you to join in with them and sing it. I'm not even supposed to sing it with them, but I'm going to just join in. Let's sing it all together real big. Melodies, melodies from heaven. Hey, rain down on me.
keep giving it up for them while they're going off the stage. They rocking, right?
Check, check, all right. Um, you may notice that the next song is called Untitled in your program. That's because it's a very new song, a very new song. Uh, it was written this week by, well, by these two guys and Sean B. Um, in fact, it's so new it was finished this morning. In fact, it's so new <laughs> that, I, <laughs> that right before I drove over here, I came over here earlier than the rest of the band, I popped in and I was like, hey, you guys going to finish the song? And they're like, yeah, we got this. I was like, okay, see you at the Morrison. And then I left. Anyways, and so this is hot off the presses. And it was, uh, these two guys made the track that these three singers will be singing along to. Uh, this is Giovanni, and this is Julian. Woo! And uh, brand new music, you guys, tonight. Yeah, you're the first ones to hear it. All right, here we go. What's the key to success? How to achieve all of your goals and dreams? Reveal the steps. I don't claim to know it all, but it all starts off with God. If you keep Him listed first, He will never let you fall. Be sure to write your vision, make it crystal clear. Passion and the courage to conquer your fears. To practice, make perfection. In the mirrors, there's a reflection of greatness in your forecast. Don't let no one tell you different. Trials will always come, just know that they won't last for long. Learn to push past through the tears you've made to persevere. Just believing in yourself, investing in yourself. Take it one day at a time, just keep seeking, you will find. The journey will be rough, but the war will be so sweet. Distractions may arise to knock you off your feet. Keep your eyes upon the prize, your head up to the sky. Dust yourself when you fall off, get back up and walk it out. Say, only thing required of you is to keep moving, keep, moving. keep dreaming, keep pressing on, keep striving, keep grinding. Yeah, everything is your consistency. Oh, say the only thing required. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The major thing is your consistency. Oh, one more time, see. Yeah, the major thing is your consistency. Yeah, man.
Yeah. That's what I was trying to get to. Thank you, Sean. Every time I meet a Sean, I say there should be more Seans in the world. I'm going to need you all to snap with me. Let's go. Big snaps. Let's go. To find to my surprise, the sun had crept through the blinds and laid on my face. Radio was playing my song, and I could smell that sweet sensation from the kitchen up and down my place. You've gotta be an angel, girl, cause I never had a woman quite like you to come and change my world. To turn my blue skies from gray, give me the words in my mouth to say it's a beautiful day. A smile reminds me of the sunshine, I know that everything will be fine. It's a beautiful day, no tears falling from the sky or from your eyes. You don't have to cry. It's a beautiful day, doesn't matter what tomorrow holds. Live for today, girl, and don't let go. It's a beautiful B E A U T I F U L. It's a beautiful Turn the bass up just a little bit more, Tim. Say B E A U T I F U L. It's a beautiful, it's a beautiful day. Y'all still snapping with me? Let's go. Woke up this morning to find to my surprise the sun had crept through the blinds and laid on my face. Radio was playing my song and I could smell that sweet sensation from the kitchen up and down my place. You've got to be an angel girl cause I ain't never had a woman quite like you to come and change my world. To turn my blue skies from gray, give me the words in my mouth to say it's a beautiful day. Smile reminds me of the sunshine, I know that everything will be fine. It's a beautiful day, no tears falling from the sky or from your eyes. You don't have to cry, it's a beautiful day, doesn't matter what tomorrow holds. Live for today, girl, and don't let go. It's a beautiful B-E-A-U-T-I-F-U-L. It's a beautiful, it's a beautiful day. One more time. Oh, this is B E A U T I F U L. It's a beautiful, it's a beautiful day. See all of the hurt and pain from yesterday has been washed away. Yeah, only God could turn my dark clouds into a brighter day. I see the pain you're going through. You stand to close your eyes, but it will be just fine. If you're there in the morning time. Y'all give it up for Kyle on the guitar. Let's go. It's a beautiful day, 
doesn't matter what tomorrow holds Live for today, girl, and don't let go It's a beautiful B-E-A-U-T-I-F-U-L It's a beautiful, it's a beautiful day Come on one more time Oh no Say B-E-A-U-T-I-F-U-L We have come to the evening of a wonderful program and you have been a wonderful audience. Thank you so much. We are going to finish the program with the Tap Dancers International Anthem. I've had the uh, pleasure in my career of traveling and performing in 28 different countries. And in almost every one of those countries, I met at least one person who knows the Shim Sham. We're going to do uh, five choruses of the Shim Sham. The first two were choreographed by a man named Leonard Reed. Uh, he was a very fascinating guy. His mother was black and Choctaw Indian, his father white. But he became a leader in the black rhythm tap community. The third chorus was taught to me in the 1970s by two members of the Copacetics. The Copacetics was a fraternity of black tap artists in New York City, which formed to honor the uh, legacy of Bill Bojangles Robinson. And they taught me the Ruby Slippers is the name of that first step. Then I will perform a slowed down version of the Shim Sham, uh, choreographed by Dorothy Wasserman for the movie Tap. You may have seen that movie. We will end with Tommy Sutton's version of the Shim Sham. Uh, Tommy was a friend of mine. I learned this in the 1960s when I was touring and uh, Tommy had a wonderful dance school in Chicago. So we end with the Tap Dancers International Anthem, the Shim Sham.